Bedford Blues capped a great performance with a 15-10 victory over Yorkshire Carnegie under the Friday Night Lights last weekend to move into the top half of the championship table. Blues suffered an early blow with the loss of captain Nick Fenton-Wells to a hamstring injury after just six minutes. This was further compounded by David Doherty's opening score as the Carnegie winger dotted down to take the visitors into an early lead. But it wasn't long before Bedford were back in the game. A clean line-out saw them drive towards the line and even with the opposition illegally collapsing the mall, the home side were not to be denied. With penalty advantage, Darrell Veenendow sniped through a very small gap in Carnegie's defence to scurry across the whitewash in a standout performance for the scrum half. With Carnegie's ill-discipline continuing, second row forward Matt Smith was yellow carded for foul play as Blues further extended their dominance. Bedford received a penalty just before the interval and Sharp made no mistake, giving the Blues the half-time lead. Mike Rowe's men gained their all-important second try in the 50th minute in very similar fashion to the first. As Carnegie again collapsed the mall, Veenendale marshalled his troops before spreading the ball wide, eventually finding Jim Wigglesworth. The fullback sidestepped his way to the line, touching down under the post before Sharp added the extras to almost seal the win for his side. A last-minute penalty left Carnegie with a losing bonus point as Bedford secured the win on home turf to move into the top six in the league.